Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv again. We're going to go over today how to make this concoction that I call Larry's Bath Water. It is a pin wash, but the reason we call it Larry's Bath Water, well, several years ago, my friend Mark and I, we were hanging out in the hobby store one day, and I was making this sludge wash, and Mark made the comment, that looks just like Larry's Bath Water. You see, we had a friend named Larry, and Larry was a great guy, but man, his feet stank. We were kind of thinking that maybe this is what the bath water looked like after he was done with it. So the name kind of stuck. Well, I have a couple of different concoctions I usually make. One is a black sludge wash, and then I also make a brown sludge wash. And today, I'm going to show you how I make the brown sludge wash, or Larry's bath water. So, here we go. Here's what we're going to start out with. We've got some Mission Models, um, Rot Brown. This is, uh, uh, there's very few acrylics I found that work very well for a sludge wash, and Mission Models has what I think is the best. We're going to use some regular tap water, and we're going to use, I'm using some good old original palm olive, but you can use other dish soaps uh, that are out there on the market. It's just, this is what I've used, and well, I kind of prefer using that. So, we're going to start out by getting some water. And you can't see the graduations on this cup, but we're going to put, to begin with, 5 cc's of water, or I'm going to try and do, it's, it's 5 parts water. So, 5 cc's is what I'm going to put in. A little bit more. Okay, so five parts water, three parts dish soap, so that means I have to do three cc's of dish soap. That's a lot, isn't it? Three cc's of dish soap. That's quite a bit. And two, two cc's of this brown paint. So that's five parts water, three parts soap, and two parts acrylic paint. This will make 10 cc's of Larry's bath water. Okay, now if I feel it's a little too watery, uh, I can add more paint. Usually, Usually it's totally the opposite. So uh, we're going to take this and we're going to mix it up real thoroughly. I try not to shake it too much because then it'll start to bubble. Um, but I use this as uh, I use this as a filter, and I also use it as a sludge wash or a panel line wash. And let me grab something here, and we'll show you how it looks. Let's see, what have I got that is really quick and easy? Oh yes! Let's try this train car. Okay, on the door of this baggage car, we're going to put some of this, and all I want to do is I'm wanting to enhance all of the panel lines that are there. Now I could use a very fine brush, I could, but I am applying this more as I would a filter in this case. Now, why so much soap? <laughs> that way, well, it's it's easier to get off. It doesn't it doesn't adhere as easily. So it makes it easier for me to take some of that off if I um, if I so desire. But to give you some idea of just how it's enhanced the, uh, the panel lines. Well, it's very, it's very subtle in how it does it, but there you go. We'll do some more panel line washing here in just a few moments, so stick with me. I'm going to show you on this here Mustang body that I've got. What we're going to do is we're going to take this. It's already been gloss coated. It's a nice, beautiful, glossy paint, and I'm going to use this on the trunk lid. You see how this trunk lid is? Well, 
I'm just going to put it right on in there. And we're going to let it soak into that and into those lines. I'm going to come back in a few minutes after it's dried. I really like to use a Q-tip to remove it, but you could use, well, you, you could use a, a napkin, you could use all sorts of things, but I really prefer the um, using a Q-tip or, or something similar to that to get that out of there. Um, places like this, right here, it works really good for highlighting those vents. Now if it works this good on, on this, imagine what it looks like on your, on your armor. Then I'm also going to do the door, because nobody ever enhances their door. Well, I don't want to say nobody ever, but usually it's not something most modelers do. They don't think about that. I'll wipe some of that off right now. Okay. And that's what the door looks like, enhanced. And this is without. And there we are for the vents. Like I said, this stuff works great on armor. So let's show you on my M6 project how it turned out. Well, we've got our clear coat on. And the reason I put it on before I did my pin wash is I didn't want to take the chance of filtering um, the color that I had. I like this lighter green and I really didn't want to make it any darker so I gave it a clear coat with Future or Pledge Floor Care, whatever it is this week. Um, we've all known it as, uh, as Future but anyway so I gave it that coat and then I went through and I put my pin wash in and you can see here in these areas where it's sunk down in and done now the wash job. has had a few minutes to dry and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a regular old q-tip I don't know what brand it really is but we call them q-tips anyway I'm gonna dip it in some water I'm gonna squeeze some of that water out I don't want it to be drippy wet but what I'm gonna do take this and I'm gonna go over I'm not gonna get down inside of the panel line I'm just gonna go along the panel where there's some of that uh, some of that paint that's uh, left over and dried. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to go over this. Just lightly, gently rub it. And you see here, here's my door. And I'm going to remove all that excess on there leaving a really nice panel uh, I should say panel line oh, we got to touch this up a little bit the beauty of it is if I need to add a little bit more I can add a little bit more and here you can see where I've done an entire engine compartment with uh, the black uh, part of Larry's bath water and you can see how it works in the engine on the air cleaner and the uh, the engine compartment as a whole so there's other automotive uses uh, for this but uh, you can see all the panel lines look really good on that here in my shop actually I use this on my toolbox I used it on some of the extra parts and it really does a good job of enhancing all of those kind of things body panels you name it so automotive isn't the only place and tanks isn't the only place you see on aircraft this World War II aircraft uh, that uh, we did this panel line wash and how it really enhanced every single panel line and the uh, the ailerons and whatnot turned out pretty decent on this aircraft and on jet aircraft uh, you can see where I've used it here and how those details just pop when you use this pin wash properly there's other uses again uh, I have uh, used it on my ships even I do a lot of 350th and 700 scale ships and I always give my 700 scale ships a wash you can see the portholes and some of the other areas where this uh, enhances it the uh, the uh, lattice masts or whatever you want to call them but the uh, um, 
the platforms and whatnot. This does a really good job of enhancing those areas, helping to enhance those. Uh, this diorama I built was in 700 scale. You can see that the T dock has been washed, and every single one of the boards pops. Um, just this simple little technique of this wash and then a dry brush and what it can do to enhance even the smallest details in your modeling. Uh, I also use it in my figures. And you can see where I've washed not only his face, his shirt, his top, his uh, uh, his overalls, uh, jackets, everything. This just works so well to enhance pretty much any piece of your modeling.